the Webster Flea Market. We just got to get a parking spot now, which is going to be the most difficult park. <laughs> So this flea market starts at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I think it ends around 2, so you definitely want to get here real early. Um, we came, it was practically still dark out. So here's a little overview. You can see the sky is a little bit dull because the sun hasn't risen yet. But uh, it's definitely worth it, and we buy a lot of stuff here. So we're going to give you a little look at some of the dealers. This particular dealer had Disney pins like you have never seen. And of course, we had a list from my daughter, and my husband collects some of the Goofy pins, so we bought quite a few pins from them because you just don't see these kind of pins anywhere around our home. So this is the time we really stock up on anything we ever really wanted. So lots and lots of them. Um, it's hard to believe Disney made all these pins, but they have. Very neat. And this particular dealer also had some Disney jewelry um, and uh, other Disney items that, uh, like I said, we had a list. <laughs> we had a list on, on our list was to get certain ears for my daughter, and she collects the ears along with uh, lounge fly purses. So we looked through these and had her on FaceTime, and these are the ones that she picked out with the flowers. So she was pretty happy about these. Um, these rings were next door, and they were a dollar a piece, and that was a good good buy. I always sell a lot of rings, so when I see rings reasonable, I always pick them up. Of course, always checking the shanks on them, because if the shanks are dull, or if they're uh, discolored, then I, they will not sell. So it's really important to check the bottoms of those rings, and that's why I'm going through so many of them, because if the bottom is in bad shape, you don't want to mess with them even if they have a beautiful top, which is kind of tough because sometimes the top is really nice on those. And that was the case with many of these. You can see that shank there is a little bit dulled out. And that happens from wear. They're costume rings, so people use them a lot. That just naturally happens with some of them. And these were a dollar each or seven for five dollars, and I picked up some bracelets here. The beads, this bead string wasn't too bad but most of them were plastic beads and I don't usually sell plastic beads so I usually pass on those items so I was definitely looking at some things here <laughs> I probably had too many things in my hand oh this bracelet was nice it was crystal and that pink one I picked up on of course and um had too many things in my hands. And this little dog was really cute because it was like a, a page holder for a book, I believe. And it had a little poodle on the top. So I picked up on that one. And these I picked up on. Those uh, uh, wire pearl bracelets are quite old. They're probably from the 50s era. So I always pick those up when I see them. Those are pretty good sellers. And these items here were $3 each or two for five and these rings were beautiful so I bought quite a few of these because like I said I can put uh, ten dollars a piece on many of these rings I've even put twelve on a couple of them but most of the time I put ten on them at the most or less but these were all really good shape they were practically brand new there was no wear on them except that one there <laughs> but the rest of them are really good so that was definitely a good buy. So that's my pile there. There was a lot of jewelry at this show, and um, there was a lot of other th items too, but boy, did I pick up on jewelry, and it was very reasonably priced. This lady um, had quite a nice assortment of bracelets, and this whole tray here was mainly turtle items. Now, you wouldn't know it, but turtle things sell pretty good. People, Some people collect turtles. So when I have turtle pins and things like that, um, if I can get them reasonable, I get them. But um, if they're f between 5 and $10, that's not going to be enough for me to make a profit on. So if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe and help us out. And like and press the notification bell. And here's a nice assortment of Fenton glass, beautiful things. 
And I'm picking up this tray because I wanted to tell everybody. Now this looks a lot like Candlewick, but this is actually Czechoslovakian glass. And it comes in a lot of different colors and it's usually this shape, but different sizes. So I wanted to let you know that that is not Candlewick like most people think. Now these purses here, very nice. The beading was perfect on these two. I paid $5 each for these. And I don't normally spend that much on purses, but boy, there was a lot of beading and it was perfect. A lot of times there's little th threads and whatnot hanging off, but these were, I don't think they were ever reused. Now this box here was a nice box of purses, but um, they wanted a little bit more money for these. They wanted 15 a piece. And I would have bought a lot of them, but that's about, I charge by about 15, $20 a piece for those. So I couldn't, I couldn't make a profit on those, but they were really some nice ones. Rings are beautiful. They're going on my YouTube channel. Oh, I was trying to figure that out. What is that? Yeah, it's a oh GoPro. If that's okay, if not, yeah. I'll erase it. I, sh I take myself shopping. And I have a junkie. It's called Junking with Lou. So. And you got the kind of stuff I usually look at. So. These are pretty. Not a bad deal. Turn a dollar and two bucks for Oh, they're a dollar and two dollars? Which ones are the dollar one? Pick out your favorite. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that? so here's the two uh, necklaces I ended up buying. I think I paid two dollars each for those. So this dealer was interesting because I went down there and he had all these tables for free. Stuff on this tables was for free. And this tray listed like it at $100 originally as was for free. Now a handle came off of it. Otherwise I'd have grabbed that and a minute flat. But um, I didn't want to deal with something that was uh, broken. So, so yeah, I got quite a few things from him. <laughs> that, was, that was the best deal of the day when you can get stuff for free. So here's some other dealers. There's lots of toys there and lots of uh, Christmas items and porcelain items, ceramic items, and a ton of jewelry. Of course, a dollar table. I'm all for that. Got to check out what's on that. This I would have bought, it, but it was Avon. And Avon collectibles are just not of any big value. They're not worth dealing with. This pin was really nice. It was a cute Easter pin, but $5 each. I probably could have done okay in that, but I ended up passing. That was a cute pin. You just never see Easter pins. That's not something you see very often. And here was some bag lots, but $20 for a small bag lot. Uh, that was a little too high for me, although there was some sterling earrings in there. Just a couple pair. So that was okay, but not a uh, very, very big bargain. So here's some overview shots. What a beautiful day. The whole week for us was beautiful like this. No clouds in the sky. It's just so nice to see blue and green after you've been in Michigan all winter. It was a good way to start the spring. And here's some more of the outside dealers. There's some that are undercover and then there's some that are outside. And I found this dealer who had a ton of Christmas stuff. And this stuff sold great for me last year. I had quite a bit of it and I made really good money on all of it. The problem was that most of his prices were pretty much the same as what I would charge other than this little guy here. I think I paid three dollars for him and I bought another little Santa. And uh, I, when I got home he was missing a little felt foot and I realized that he never did have it. I thought maybe I'd lost that on the way home but I think that's something I could probably replace myself. These candy containers are worth very good money, um, but like I said, his prices were like the same as mine. So even though they were so cute, and he had great stuff. I only picked up on a couple of items from this dealer, but what neat stuff, tons of Christmas. And I had a few of these last year that I sold very quickly and they were in the original package like that also. 
And we were here mostly all day. There is a ton of dealers at this show. So there was a lot to see. It's all kinds of teapots and uh, nice compact. The price wasn't right for me, but a nice piece regardless. And more jewelry. And here's some more overall shots of the flea market. And like I said, we were there from 7 o'clock in the morning, probably to almost 2 o'clock, because there was so much to see. Now, this, this gentleman had a, quite an assortment on, of jewelry on his table. Of course, I'm in for that. So I ended up getting that little pill box because it had an embroidery top. It was really pretty. So I dug through his stuff and got quite a number of items. That was pretty, but I think there was a stone missing. And these crystals were really nice too and the price was right but they were, needed to be restrung and uh, i have quite a few crystals i, I really don't want to restring anything unless i have to if it was something really cool that i've never seen i would have done it but uh, that all takes time and this was nice it was a lapis necklace that was a decent buy and more crystals over there for three dollars that was a good deal and then he had a dollar section also so I picked up these rings even though they're the kind that are adjustable I picked those up for my um, I have like a little display of rings that are under five dollars and um, I usually put three four dollars on something like that um, and if it's turquoise uh, even though they're adjustable and they're not as well as some of the other rings that I've bought and they do sell turquoise always sells even fake turquoise which obviously that was but everybody likes turquoise and that little ring with the flower on the top I, I bought that one too that was kind of cool it had red stones on the top so that was very nice this was a very serious shopping day for me so so you'll have to bear with me if the camera gets kind of moved around a lot because I was trying to do both and actually, it was a dollar each or six for five. So, of course, I had to get six. Now, this item I had before, I'm not quite sure what you use it for. It's like a clip with a key ring on it. But the key ring was kind of in bad shape. I've actually had that before and sold it. So, there's the items that I ended up getting for the six for five. And we're going to take a look, see if there's anything else. More rings, but didn't care for any of those. This was a really good day for jewelry. It seemed like their jewelry prices were very reasonable. I did get this little pearl choker. I think I only paid a dollar for that too. It was a nice piece, probably from the 70s. And here's some more items. And these were $3 a piece. So after getting stuff for a dollar, it's harder to look at the $3 things unless they're pretty neat or different types of things. And here's some more overall shots of the flea market. And wow, look at all the stuff this guy had. I mean, there was jewelry everywhere. It was awesome. And clothes and everything you possibly can imagine there's new and old stuff there's just a huge variety so on the other side there's like two sides of this little dirt road of the flea market and on one side is the more of the old stuff on the other side is side there's more newer things but you know you got to check both sides because they do mix people in different dealers in so you really got to go to all of it to see but here were some more new items that were quite nice and today I was looking more for the older stuff, but uh, the new stuff has sold quite good for me also. And we were looking at the purses, and this looked like a lounge fly, but it was like a reproduction. So we passed on that. And look how cute these little puppies are. We just had to put them in. A little chihuahua wanted to come home with me. <laughs> Didn't quite make it, though. Anyways, here's some more jewelry and some stones, polished stones. 
and lots of uh, they had lots of strings of beads which were really reasonably priced but um, you have to make things with them and this gentleman is there every year and he is uh, preaching the gospel and I want to show a little clip of him Here's a lot of stuff I got at Webster today. I got these three purses here for $5 a piece. I'll probably put between 15 and 20 on each of those. This jewelry was a dollar a piece. Uh, maybe between three and six dollars on that. I got my daughter her Mickey ears with flowers on it. She's gonna love that. I got two Santa Clauses for three dollars each. And this here is a a rhinestone belt I got for two, which that's $10 for sure all day. And this little bag was $3 too. I do see an amber looking ring in there and a rhinestone bracelet. So I don't know what other goodies are in there, but there could be some good stuff. I'm sure I get, I can triple my money on that. Here's this pin here, $10 for sure. And then this little embroidery case I paid two for, I probably would put $5.99 on that. Here's a amber necklace that I paid three for. I'm not sure, I gotta take a look at it and see if it has sterling silver clasp. And this peacock bracelet I paid a dollar for. That's gonna be probably around five. And here's some natural necklaces, coral and lapis. And a lot of this was a quarter to two dollars a piece. So I can for sure triple my money. All these rings here, I think I paid two for five. Um, Ten dollars a piece is usually what I sell those for. And we have some more jewelry here I paid a dollar for. I'll probably get between hmm, right, four to seven dollars a piece. The purses were five each. I'll get 15 to 20. And then this was the best spot thing here. These things right here, this guy was giving stuff away for free. So I took these because these glasses are uh, a depression pattern, I'm pretty sure. So I got those, they obviously need to be clean. And then my husband, of course, got all his DVDs that he always likes. So that's all the things that we got today at Webster. This is Lou from Lou's Antique saying goodbye and make sure you watch next week because we're heading on over to Flagler and Beverly Beach area for some more sales. Bye!